At work, every company forces you to use its color scheme. And I know a lot of you start changing graphs, etc. manually, which is insane. Let me show you how to fix that. Let's go. In order to fix your problem, you need to go to page layout and change your theme. But it's not that easy. This is why I will show you two ways. First one is manual. Second one is actually a surprise. I have a macro workbook that I created. You can download it through the link that is in the description. All you have to do is just select your colors and press a button and it will do the job. No need to know anything about VBA. So let's understand first what are themes. A theme has three elements, colors, fonts, and effects. And you can change all of them. So here, for example, if I go for colors, I have some preset ones and I can create my color palette. Customize colors. The first four are actually for the dark and light themes and you can change the text color, etc. And then you have the accents. The accents are actually for the charts, for example. So if you have a chart like here, the first bar will be blue, the second one orange. And if you have a third one, it will be in gray. Now let me just change this to purple and we can save our color palette. Now we have this name, we can change it, but I'm just gonna keep it. Save. You can see now you have the purple. You go to colors, we have custom too. You can do the same for the fonts, which are here, and the effects, you can select something. Now once it's done, we go to themes. We have some preset themes actually, and we can create our own from what we have selected in terms of colors, fonts, and effects. So I'm just gonna go save current theme. And here you can give it a name. I'm just gonna give it a name test theme one, save. There we go. Now there is a problem with this approach, let me show you. We're just gonna close this file and then open a new one. Let's select a blank workbook, double click. And if you go to page layout, theme, well, the office theme is selected, not this one. And you don't want to every time select this one manually, it's so cumbersome. Let me show you how to fix this. So first of all, we can just create a theme by selecting colors, font, and effect. You don't even need to save it. You just select them or you just go to themes and you select one of the ones that you have. For example, test theme one, the one I created before. Next, I go to file. I don't go to save as. I go to export, change file type template. Then we have save as. And here we have a difference between Office 365 and older versions of Excel. I will show you the difference. Let's go for Office 365. You just go to documents, custom office templates, and here, let's just remove the one. We don't need any number and we save it. I already have a template called book. It's okay, I'm just gonna replace it. Yes. Now the cool thing, if I just open a new Excel workbook, let's go this time for new, not blank workbook, personal. And here you will see you have book. Double click on it. You go to page layout, themes, and you will have test theme one selected automatically. Now, if you have an older version of Excel, what you do is you go to the file explorer. You can just do a search. So here in this PC, I'm just gonna type Excel start. It will start searching. A few moments later. There it is, Excel start. So we just double click and we right click here, properties. We are gonna take the location. So this is the pass, control C and then cancel. We don't need this, so we can just close it. And let's go back to our Excel sheet. We're gonna do the same thing. So we select a theme, for example, test theme one, or we just select colors, font, and effect. Then we go to file, and here we go to export, change file type, same thing, template, save as. And instead of going to my documents, what we do here is control V. Press enter, you have the Excel start folder here, double click on it and you do the same thing. You're gonna save it as book and it should do the job. Now let me show you the best part, the macro file that will enable you to do all this without this hassle. So let's press on cancel, let's close it and open our macro file. So this is the file that you can get if you download it from the link in the description. And let me first explain to you how it works and then you need to know a couple of things about the macros behind it, just in case you have problems. So first of all, I have my accents here and I have my fonts. For the fonts, I can select any font from here. 
I can see the name like this one, Aharoni, and then I can just type it here, Aharoni, for example, like this. I'm not going to change. Now, the fun part is this color scheme. So what we can do, for example, change this color. I'm going to use yellow. Notice red, green, and blue. If I go to another cell, it will pick up the RGB of the color. So every color has a value for red, green, and blue, and it picks it up automatically. You don't have to worry about it. You can also do the opposite and you can do it for any of those colors. So for example, if I come here and I put 123, enter, it will pick up the right color. Now try to play with this. And once you are okay with it, you can just click on this button. So we click on it. Do I want to delete? You will select delete. Do I want to save? Yes, we save. Then here you will put yes to replace in case this pops up. You get a message. It saved successfully. Perfect. We're just going to close this and we're going to save it. Another save, too many buttons. And now we're going to open a new Excel sheet. Here you will go for new again. You go down to personal. Under personal, we have saved it under the name template. Double click on it. You get your template. And now, for example, if I go A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I insert a chart, so insert. Let's select any chart. You will see that you get the colors that we have selected. Now, let me close this and explain to you a few things about the macro. You need to know this. This is the file back. Now we have three macros. The first one will take the color that you have here and it will extract the RGB of the color. The second one will take the values that you have in here and it will find the right color. And the third one is the one that is linked to this button which will do the job. So if you go to developer, and by the way, if you don't have developer, just go to file, more options. And here, if you go to customize ribbon, you need to put a tick mark next to developer. Press OK. And after that, you go to visual basic under developer. Under sheet two, so if I double click on sheet two, I will see the two macros for the colors. So this one will get the RGB from the color. You don't need to know much about it. If you have any question, just ask me in the comment section. And this one will get the color from the values that you will put for R, G, and B. Now, the important one is under modules, apply template. This is the one. Again, you don't need to know how it's saving and all this. What you need to know is this piece. You remember before in the manual one, we had Office 365 where you have to save it in one folder. And if you have an older version of Excel, it's another folder. So this one is for Office 365. This is the location. Now, in case you have a problem, what you will do is put an apostrophe here. So this is commented. It will not run. And we remove the apostrophe here. What we will have is the folder. You remember our Excel start folder? This is the one. Now, I try to pick it up automatically. Again, if this doesn't work, you just remove all this. You put a double quotation. And here you will paste the pass the same way we have done it when we save manually. I'm just going to do Ctrl Z so you can see. This is the end of the pass. So usually it will be Microsoft Excel, Excel Start, etc. This will give you an idea. And at the beginning, you'll have usually C, then you have two dots, your username, etc. So in case you have more problems, let me know.